Okay, so I'm going to show you how to use a straight shaper, like a fox style straight shaper, with an X-Acto blade to shape a piece of gouged bassoon cane. So first we put the cane in the shaper and make sure that it is even on both sides and you squeeze it together and then tighten with the screw. Make sure that it's straight on the other side and do the same thing here so it's in securely and won't slide. Start from the center and remove some of the excess cane from the side first. I'm going to do that on all four sides just so that I get rid of the extraneous cane. So you're working on four sides of the reed. Okay, now that I have the excess trimmed, this is where it starts to get a little bit tricky. So we have to go to the narrowest point, but not too far beyond it we don't want to risk the cane splitting inside the shaper. So only shape to about the center point um, of the reed, which is close to the narrowest. Um, this shaper, I can kind of see a line you probably can't see in the video where it's actually reached the narrowest point. Um, so we can remove a little bit more cane here. So I go a little bit past the center point when I still have some extra cane to go. But now I'm getting pretty close to the shaper itself with my blade, so I'm not going to go past the narrowest point of the reed. Get right up to the shaper. And if you have a sharp knife, this is much easier than if you have a dull one. So go to the center, and then that should come off cleanly. So now you can just kind of go over to make sure that you've gotten any loose material off. We're going to repeat that for all four sides. Turn this extra bit off. To the narrowest point of the shaper. Finally, the last bit will fall. Now once you've done this on one long side of the reed, on a fox straight shaper, um, there will be a notch in the center. So if you take your knife and kind of cut length laterally across the cane, that'll give you a good center score line for when you put this on your profiler. Um, so do this on the remaining two sides of the reed. Go over this one more time to make sure I got all the loose extra off. And you can see it too that I'm holding the knife at a pretty, this pretty uh, low angle to the cane to get the most cutting edge. So you're not scraping, you're really cutting here. This isn't the same kind of angle that you hold as when you're scraping the blade when you're doing the reed finishing. So I'll make the mark down the center again. And then we can take our piece of cane out. Just kind of push it off with the edge. So then we end up with a piece of gouged and shaped cane. This is ready to go on a profiler now. You might need to sand the sides or something like that, but uh, that's pretty much it.